Well, Dunwoody City Councilman says problems at DeKalb County's 911 center have the city looking for its own emergency call center. And for months, we've been telling you about complaints of long response times, rescue crews showing up without an ambulance, or refusing to transport patients. CBS Atlanta's Leslie Tanner is live in Dunwoody with what's being done to make sure people are safe. Yeah, Kim, well, Dunwoody officials started to look at what it would take to separate from DeKalb County's 911 before those recent complaints that you mentioned. But that city councilor says that the problems have actually been going on for years, and he believes residents here will be safer when someone else is answering their emergency call. It's the weak link in the chain. Dunwoody City Councilor Robert Wittenstein says DeKalb County's 911 system is the one county service he doesn't want in charge of his or his neighbor's safety. There is nothing more frustrating than calling 911 and getting a uh, answering machine that says uh, all of our operators are busy, please stand by. Wittenstein says that's what will continue to happen if the city doesn't find another way to provide emergency dispatch. Police can be very effective, the fire department can be very effective, but unless you've got a very effective dispatch system, all of those are going to get delayed. Poor dispatch is what responders blame for Dunwoody resident Ann Bartlett's death in January. She called 911 to report a fire at her home, but responders say inaccurate information from dispatch caused a communication breakdown that cost her her life. But that was just the first of several complaints about DeKalb County 911. Yeah. This grandmother says DeKalb first responders refused to take her three-year-old asthmatic grandson to the hospital. And this 90-year-old says she had to wait 25 minutes after calling 911 before crews arrived without an ambulance. And though city manager Warren Hutmacher says the city wanted to start its own 911 system before these complaints, he adds that... Anytime that you've got you know, a possible drop in service, that's a concern to us. And residents agree. But they've got a lot of negative res response and a lot of uh, people that I ha are having problems. I can see that they may be, you know, wanting to get their own 911. So there are two options. Either Dunwoody will go out completely on their own, starting their own 911 center, or they'll join Johns Creek and Sandy Springs in Chatcom. That vote will be taken at the end of June. But I spoke over the phone with DeKalb County's public safety director. He says he stands behind his system, and he believes that Dunwoody will actually lose service when they leave the county. We'll have reaction to that coming up tonight at 6. For now, live in Dunwoody, Leslie Tanner, CBS Atlanta News.